Hi everyone. So in this presentation, I'm going to talk about thyroid gland. Where is it located? What are the main hormones? And how is the thyroid hormone secreted? And what happens when there is more thyroid hormone secretion? And what happens when there is less thyroid hormone secretion? And in my next class, I'm going to cover about the other part of the thyroid gland that is hyperthyroidism. But right now, let's get into this class. So where is thyroid gland located? So thyroid is a butterfly-like shape, like an endocrine gland that is located in the neck. It is wrapped around the trachea just below the thyroid cartilage and Adam's apple. It is like butterfly shape. This is the trachea, this is the thyroid cartilage, and this is the Adam's apple. So like you can see, this is the thyroid cartilage, this is the thyroid gland, and this is the trachea. So coming to thyroid hormone, there are two main hormones. One is T3 and one is T4. T3 is triiodothyronine and T4 is thyroxin. So what is this three and four? They are nothing but the number of iodine present in molecule of each hormone. In this hormone, there are three iodine. In this hormone, there are four iodine. Collectively, T3 and T4 are called as thyroid hormone. Now coming to secretion of thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone secretion is under the control of thyroid stimulating hormone. So the thyroid gland, in order to secrete T3, T4 and calcitonin, it is under the control of TSH from the anterior pituitary. And TSH is in turn controlled by TRH from the hypothalamus. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone and TRH stands for thyrotropin releasing hormone. So like I said, the thyroid gland in order to release T3, T4 and calcitonin, it is under the control of thyroid stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary. And this TSH is in turn induced by the thyrotropin releasing hormone produced by the hypothalamus. The amount of circulating thyroid uh, hormones is also regulated by negative feedback inhibition. What does this negative feedback inhibition mean? So when the levels are too high, when the thyroid levels are very high, what happens is there is a suppression of TSH, so which in turn it suppresses TRH. So thyroid hormones have a huge impact on digestive system, respiratory system, and cardiac activity. What happens in digestive system is it increases the metabolism. That is, it stimulates digestion, appetite, and breakdown of nutrients and absorption. And on respiratory system, it increases the oxygen consumption, breathing, heart rate, and contraction strength. It increases like um, the heat production in the body. So thyroid hormone secretion, uh, how does it affect in summer and winter? Let us see. So when the temperature is too hot, the hypothalamus inhibits the thyroxine uh, release. So the metabolic rate is reduced and heat production is red, uh, reduced. Whereas in winters, the hypothalamus stimulates thyroxine to release and it increases metabolic rate and it generates heat. Coming to thyroid disorders. So what is a hypothyroidism? When the thyroid harm, when the thyroid gland does not produce enough hormone, it causes reduction in the metabolic rate. That is called as hypothyroidism. We have studied that thyroid gland is responsible for good metabolic rate, helps in digestion, increased cardiac activity, and also respiratory rate so now if the thyroid secretion is not happening the hormone secretion is not happening so all these three activities would be affected so like i said when thyroid gland does not produce enough hormone it results in low metabolic rate combined with low respiratory and cardiac activity so what happens is there is fatigue weight gain cold intolerance slow heart rate heavy menstrual bleeding constipation and iodine deficiency, when there is an iodine deficiency, what happens is hypothyroidism can be seen, which leads to swelling of thyroid gland. So exactly, let me come back to the slide. What happens is whenever there is an iodine deficiency, the thyroid gland swells in size. 
In an attempt to fix the thyroid hormone, the pituitary gland it secretes TSH, which is stimulating thyroid gland, but there is no iodine. So without iodine, what happens is it just increases in size, but does not produce the hormones required. And now coming to Hashimoto's thyroiditis. What is Hashimoto's thyroiditis? It is an autoimmune disease in which the thyroid gland is destroyed by the body's own immune system. Like our body thinks that uh, the thyroid gland is like foreign, so it just kills it. So that is, is called as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So what is the treatment for hypothyroidism is you give thyroxine, that is a hormone replacement. So let us talk about hypothyroidism in our next class. Thank you.